from the pastor, and that's kind of why I'm doing announcements today. Um, there is a lot going on, Christian and non-Christian alike. We can uh, see some of these things, and some of these things affect our area, and um, and some of these things I'm going to speak about, I'm going to use coded language because this is a message to all the church, and I want to be careful how I talk about it. But there are some really harmful things going on. There are some really bad things, but there's also some really good things going on. And I think uh, that's how you know that God is about to move in a miraculous way, when both of those things are happening. Um, and just off the top of uh, my mind, I can think, you know, there's been some nightlife in odd places. There have been some hyper-spiritual warfare. There's some churches that are teaching some false teaching. And again, I, I know I'm being coded, but uh, this message is for everybody, even the children. And there's words of revival going on. And so yesterday, not to keep on tipping off the men's breakfast, though it's a wonderful time, I was talking uh, to Sam about this, and Sam said something that I think was very pertinent, and it's always interesting when somebody, when you're a pastor and you're talking to somebody and they, they say something more spiritual than you, I'm like, oh, this, this sucks, uh, you know. But we talked about, like, how do you figure out what's going on? How do you decide what's good and what's bad? It is so hard to know sometimes. I mean, sometimes we just see, hey, this is bad, and I know it's bad, but I don't know how to identify it. And Sam, you know, said, well, you judge it by its fruit, right? And Jesus talks about this in Matthew 7, 16 through 20. I'm just, I'm just going to read it. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs? From thistles. Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, uh, good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and is thrown into the fire. Thus, by your fruit you will recognize them. Here's what I want to make clear. The number of followers a movement has is not fruit. There were crowds following Jesus and listening to his teaching, and those same crowds yelled, crucify him. It's not about the crowds. It's about the fruit that they produce. And so when you're looking at something, is it producing good fruit? Good fruit. And let me just say this. If any church or any teaching is presented to you, even if it's out of my mouth, and your spirit is weary about it, Good. Good. Stop for a minute and say, hey, my spirit is weary about it. And you can wait for the fruits. If I teach you something that you're like, you know what? I'm not sure if that's what God's word is telling me to do. God gives you the opportunity to wait on the fruit. And what is that? The kind of fruit that are to be produced is loving God, passionate spirituality, and belief in the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. So, that's just a message before we get to the announcements that I want to make clear to everybody. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to see me afterwards. So, that, that's just the message. Uh, we still have the announcements to get through. And it's okay if the kids are yelling and screaming and it's a mess and you can hardly hear. That is why we have a bulletin. It's a, uh, I, a lot of times I will hear people say, hey, was that announced? Did somebody say that? It's been in the bulletin. It's been in there for weeks. Read the bulletin if you don't hear uh, because kids are too loud. That's a blessing, not a curse. 